This tutorial deals with the batch job production of the Zündcut Center. You will learn how to add files to the batch job production, how to change the order, how to remove files, and start or cancel the batch job production. In the cut queue, you can define which jobs are to be carried out automatically in direct sequence. Jobs that have been configured completely are sent directly to the cutter and then processed. Make sure that orders you want to be processed via batch job production are configured completely in the cut center and that you have the same material and configuration on the cutter. First, we want to add some files to the batch job production. Select the job in the job queue, right click and select Add to batch in the context menu. The order will be displayed in the first column. You can also see the status of the configuration in the column status. All of these jobs are completely configured and ready. Change the order of the jobs with a right click on the job and select Produce earlier in batch or Produce later in batch. Remove a job from the batch job production with a right click on the job. Now select Remove from batch. When all files are listed in the batch job production, in the correct order and are ready, you can start the batch job production with a double click on the symbol Batch Job Production. The batch job production window opens and shows you the current and next job for production. You can stop the batch job production if necessary with a click on Abort. So this was a demonstration on how to work with the batch job production. For more information about the Zündcut Center, go to www.youtube.com slash Zündtube.